Closing arguments just ended. The jury expected to get the case and begin deliberations tomorrow and tonight. I'm bringing you a rare glimpse inside the very private world of Michael Jackson and his family life. An exclusive interview tonight with his former doctor and longtime friend, Dr. Barney Van Valen. Dr. Van Valen, also the author of this new book, Conversations in Neverland with Michael Jackson. Uh, so great to have you here, Dr. Van Valen. Um, you have so much to tell Thank us about. Me. I understand you were there uh, the day that Michael Jackson brought Little Blanket home. Tell us about that. Yes. Well, uh, Michael invited us to dinner, and uh, he uh, said he had a surprise for us. And uh, as we walked in the house, uh, my wife uh, leaned over to me and said, there's a baby in the house. And I said, how do you know that? She said she'd seen a little pram down the hallway, a little cream and blue toile uh, pram. And uh, certainly after dinner, um, oh, okay, after dinner we, uh, uh, we went uh, upstairs, Michael said, follow me, and uh, walked over to the crib and uh, uh, picked a baby out and brought him over and put him in my wife's arms. And uh, now, that, he, was uh, me, and that was Little Blanket. That was Little Blanket, yeah. Did you have any yeah. explanation about where Little Blanket came from? Because that's one of the mysteries of Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah, he told me, but I think uh, um, I kept that actually out of the book uh, because I figured it would be something blanket should know first and and then he can tell who he wants you know uh, so it well was not okay I that's one of the many comfortable mysteries. discussing you know sure yeah. sure. I, t well, I, I totally that get one, it we, I have we an don't answer to know yeah, yeah I know you well, have I'm the sorry, answer I, but we're not going to hear it tonight now, I understand no, that I understand that. that now uh, I I also understand that you know quite a bit about Michael Jackson and money and everybody said he had a bad relationship with money and that was Perhaps because he was an artist at heart, he was also brilliant because he bought the Beatles catalog. You have a, a very quick story about the Beatles catalog. He was offered a lot of money for what and turned what down? Well, he was offered a lot of money to, uh, to he kept seven songs out of the, of the catalog that weren't publicly available. And uh, he got a call one day. Are those Beatles songs? Asking, Beatles songs? Yes, they were Beatles songs. Uh, yes, okay. seven Beatles songs he kept out. And uh, he told me after he'd taken a call that this Canadian company had wanted to buy or use one of the songs in a commercial. And uh, they offered him uh, $8 million, he said, to use it for the national commercial, and he turned them down. What about the $4 million he was offered for photographs of his children? <laughs> yeah, he told me, you know, he always kept their faces hidden because that. Uh, you know, he said people will take the pictures and sell them, and he was offered $4 million for a photo session uh, of the kids, and he turned that down. He just was not interested. 